Um, so you might shoot like a rock star? <laughs> Perhaps. I see you like Perhaps. standing out in the rain reading a Hebrew edition of the... Uh, What's the name of that novel? The Holden Caulfield's? Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, reading Catcher in the Rye. Like, well, <laughs> waiting for Bill Clinton to show up. <laughs> oh god, sad but true. Remind me who Tamar in the Torah is. Um, she's a woman whose first husband dies, whose second husband dies, like his brother who's then required to marry her. Um, then he dies. Um, then the third one um, Onan is Onan, and Onan does not fulfill his conjugal duty, and so uh, Judah Judah saves his youngest son because he's like he's had two sons died to this to this woman, and uh, so she's without a husband. So she goes out and dresses as a prostitute, and she seduces Judah. And uh, so many similarities there. <laughs> isn't it uncanny? <laughs> uncanny. <laughs> And now I remember why I don't. I didn't remember that story from my Hebrew high education. She's very sex in the city, except the city is Tel Aviv. I do love Tel Aviv. Would you live in Israel? I live in Tel Aviv. I loved it. Yeah. What did you love about it? Um, it's everything I love about Europe. It was exciting. I you couldn't believe the the amount of culture there, the fashion, the nightlife, the people. Um, I loved it. I wasn't expecting to love Israel as much as I did, and I I wish I could go back and spend a lot more time in that city. How would you describe your fashion? The way you like to dress. Um, I joke about that. Um, I like to think it's a little bohemian, urban, gypsy, chic, um, stylistic, all of which are words I've almost made up. Um, my mom thinks I usually dress like a homeless person because I'm wearing things that I often got from thrift, stop, thrift stores. Um, but I'm a fashion risk taker for sure. I definitely got a lot of looks in my first year of law school for some of my fashion choices. Like what were some of the more adventurous fashion choices in your first year of law school? There was a period of time I went through where I was really digging ripped tights. Um, Interesting. Yeah, and then I, there were a few pictures that showed up on Facebook of me in ripped tights, and I got a talking to for my mom like you would not believe. Are they still on there? <laughs> I think they might be, unfortunately. Uh, now I'm going to check. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, Why did your mother tell you about ripped tights? That they're for prostitutes. If someone tells you you're dressed like a prostitute, is that a compliment? No. Okay. <laughs> no. If someone told you that, would it be a compliment? If would, someone said that you're dressed like a pimp, would you be like, gee, thanks. <laughs> thanks, I'm pimp. <laughs> well, this is an awesome jacket. Jackie Mason says Jewish women are the only women who, if you tell them you're dressed like a prostitute, say thank you. That, I mean, that's only, that's only for a girl that doesn't get a lot of compliments about the way she dresses usually. <laughs> If you're really so, you didn't take it as a compliment when your mother said you dress like a prostitute. I did not. I definitely did not. No. Uh, do you have any opinions on J Day? I've never been on. Um, I've heard mixed things. Have you been on any online dating site? No, I haven't. Um, Craigslist. <laughs> no. no, although it's funny you should mention because. Some guy recently wrote a really nasty response to my blog post about recycling exes, and he said, you know, if you don't learn to settle, I'll see you on Craigslist in a few years. Yeah. Um, but That's no. That's my friend, Pam <laughs> Oh. I know her. Oh, really? Yeah. Good company you keep there. But he's very funny, so I'll forgive anything if sounds funny. Yeah. I generally I will too. He wasn't funny enough in this post. Okay, if he right. makes it funnier, I I agree. But he isn't that a great that. line? If like if she doesn't quit this dating thing, I'll see you on Craigslist. Yeah. Come on, uh, that's funny. It used to be good. Now they got rid of the adult services, so now it's yeah. just like I'll see you on there selling your old high heels. <laughs> what are you going to be doing on Craigslist now? What was her longest relationship? Four years. Oh, they they answer already. Yeah. Have you ever dated a felon? 
Um, that you know of? Convicted felon. Actually, yes. For but he, I you know. He was a good guy underneath. How to go? No, no, no. I, he I, was very strong. I think it, he was a pimp. I, but I, he was a love merchant. That's how I to think about it. He was a love merchant. He didn't mean to kill those people. The yeah. gun just went off by accident. He was trying to be protective. <laughs> no, right. Um, no, he. I think actually it was a misdemeanor. I did. He. You know, someone got convicted for protesting against the Iraq War. A friend of mine who I did date. He was. I was with him when he got arrested. Um, so I don't think you can count. No, no, that. no. I need a felon. You haven't dated a felon. God, no. I know. I've been hit on by a lot of felons. I worked for the public defender's office last year. I spent a lot of time in the did LA you, County did Jail. Did you have to like just press the desire to date them, or was that easy? <laughs> can you tell I'm attracted to bad boys? Um, yeah. Although I will say. The, you know, the idea of the bad boy is much more the exciting the real. when when you're standing in jail and it smells like urine and these people haven't showered in so days. So you never wanted to date any of the teeth. that you're missing teeth? No, no. I appreciate, I was always polite and gracious, um, you know, but then again, it's hard to be that flattered when they don't see that very, you know, very many women for months at a time. My last girlfriend said to me, I'd rather you're a felon than a would I you like rather that girl. date? A, would you I rather date a felon or a Republican? Oh, what a quandary! <laughs> Do I have to answer that? Yes. Um, I've I the truth is I have I know I dated Republicans. Um, I you know. Is that creepy? Did you feel like you're selling out? No, I just thought I could change them. <laughs> I have a lot of good friends that are Republicans. My law school is by far very conservative, very Christian conservative, and a lot of Republicans. And one of my best friends is a Republican there, and one of my old, longest oldest friends um, that I grew up with is Republican. I definitely... Um, Give her on Calabasas. They should be yeah. a lot of Republicans. There are. Are you kidding? They're all Jews and they're all liberal. Oh, okay. It's like at eighty percent Jewish, and you know how. Present company excluded. You yeah. know how they tend to lean. Have you ever had your heart broken? Yes, brutally once. It was that one was of. By a girl. <laughs> you wish. No, no, no. I'm a charge. <laughs> um, by a man. Two year, two and a half years ago, and it was. Is that why he started getting blow school so he could sue him for a broken heart? <laughs> oh, you know me so well. I did go to law school right around the time my heart was broken, and it was one of the most impactful experiences of my life. It was the most brutal time for me. I was so depressed. I literally remember lying in my couch wondering if, literally wondering if I'm rationally asking myself if I was going to die of a broken heart. It was terrible. But I, it's something that I think, I think everyone should get their heart broken and break someone's heart before they end up in the relationship they're supposed to be in. So was it hard for you when you found out who was married? <laughs> to my sister, yes. Very difficult. <laughs> Life teaches us what we're good at, so what would you say are your strengths? Um, I think I'm good at being a good friend. I think I'm a good daughter and sister and family member. So I found the blogger. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It might have changed in the last few months. Um, they've been really upset about it. Uh, I'm... I feel much better when you uh, see this interview. Right. <laughs> Reminded of my sexual exploits at fifth grade, which they probably had to go to therapy to get over and stop to relive it. <laughs> but did you see this one? <laughs> I, that sounds so made up, but I, I will just never forget. Oh, hilarious. Love it. Go ahead. 